Today we're going to talk about the Fisher and Paykel Viterra. I'm going to walk you through how you're going to want to adjust the mask and then we'll go through how you want to take the mask apart and clean it. The first thing that you want to look at on this mask is this little piece here. It's very thin so as you're putting this mask on you need to be careful that that's not getting turned the wrong way. Best way to do that is as you put it on just to let it kind of fall against your face here. You don't want to be doing one of these going up or down because it will turn that piece the wrong way. But just let it fall against the face. Go ahead and pull the rest of the headgear up and over. You'll want to bring each one of these clips around and snap those into place. On either side here, like that. Okay, now the next thing that you want to do Let's go ahead and hook it up to the machine, whether that's a ResMed or a Phillips. We'll go ahead and hook the tubing up here. Go ahead and turn the pressure on, on the machine. And then you're gonna look for any leaks that might be going on. Any leaking down here, any leaking up top here. And what you wanna do is just go ahead and tighten these straps accordingly. You don't wanna over tighten, just very nice and gentle. Then after you've tightened those straps up, you wanna look for any leaking that's going on here, okay? Again, you want this as loose as possible, so you'll come up here and adjust these straps. But the most important part on this is you want at least a finger's width between that bar and your forehead. So you do not want it sitting against your forehead. So just go ahead and tighten these up again as little as possible. You want this cushion nice and loose so that it can do what it needs to do here. This piece here, that flexi fit, will actually move with that pressure as necessary. So you don't want to over tighten. You want to allow it to do what it needs to do there. Now this mask does vent out the front here, and that's the only place that you want to feel that air coming through. Now if you feel like everything here needs to be adjusted up on your face, you're going to come up here to the top strap here. You want to go ahead and undo these two straps on top and go ahead and either tighten or loosen accordingly for where you want it to sit on your face. So you do want this cushion to sit right across the bridge of your nose. You don't want it too far up, too far down. And you also want the bottom of this cushion to sit between your lip and your chin. If it's any further down, go ahead and adjust up here to pull that entire mask up. And that is how you fit the mask. One other thing I'd like to mention on this mask is this is the quick connect for this mask. So as it fits into your tubing here, it will quick release there if you wanna leave the mask on to get up to the bathroom at night. When you come back, just snap it back into place like that. Now to remove it completely, best way to do that is just hold the two and wiggle it out like that. All right, the next thing that we're gonna talk about is how you're gonna to want to clean this mask. So each day, you're gonna to wanna to clean this cushion here just to get those natural facial oils off. You can use a warm soapy cloth, you can use a baby wipe, you can use a CPAP wipe. Anything that doesn't contain alcohol is just fine. Now you can either wipe it here or you can grab the headgear here, push up, and that will remove that entire piece from the headgear. You're welcome to wipe it down this way. You can put this entire piece in the sink if you would prefer. To remove the cushion, you're gonna wanna grab on either side here and go ahead and squeeze that cushion together and pull and it will snap out like that for ease of cleaning and also for replacing that cushion. To reinsert it, just snap it right back into place there and then grab the headgear and there's only one way that it will go on there Slide that in there, and as that snaps into place, your headgear will be complete. Now feel free to wipe this piece down here, hand wash it, um, and then just lay it out to dry. And that is it. 